All right, gonna show you how to. Uh, oh, this was a, a husky. There's my uh, hood over there, LT4200 husky. But I'm gonna show you how to replace the uh, ignition switch. Um, not that I know that this one is bad, but it's had some. Uh, Old junk built up in it. It's been a long time since I ran this thing. Uh, just kind of getting it going over it, going through it. And, uh, you know, dirt dauber's been in it, So I, and I don't know where the key is. So looking to order a key and maybe clean out the dirt dauber nest, and I found that uh, just ordering the two key, a couple of keys and uh, shipping was going to cost almost the same as getting a switch with two keys with free shipping. Uh, wasn't a whole lot of difference, so I decided just to go ahead and get the uh, get the switch, new switch, and uh, two keys. I got a, a key and a key ring and another key. So I got two keys and a key ring and a switch. For about, no, I want to say five or six dollars more than just two keys with the shipping. So, anyway, I'm going to show you how to replace this. And it's easier to show you out here, and it's easier to figure stuff out if you just buy, when you buy it, before you try to take it off the mower. Buy it and see how it how it looks and what it what it is and see what this right here is is uh it, this mash is down like that. I don't know if you can see that or not. So all this does is just stick into a hole and clips into it. So what we're gonna have to do is go inside and get a screwdriver between this between this part right here. In the frame and push this down and then pull pull this thing out there we go. And the bottom one should pop out the same Anyway, you're not worried about tearing this one up. Well, I think it's loose. I just gotta work it out of there. It's not loose on the bottom. But it's fitting to be because it's too hard. It's hard to get to from underneath here. So I am going to just get it here. There we go. That's out. Now, yeah, there it is. All right. a little nail through here so I can get a good eye on it knowing which way to go on and just mash it in maybe there we go good tight snug Bit. Now this, and I have always found that on these kind of little body parts, if you take a little bit of grease and put on those before you put them in, first, They'll go in much easier. 
and if you have to replace it again, it'll come out much easier. There we go. All right. I guess. Let's try the key before. Oh yeah, it worked. Don't try that without a battery. I mean, with a battery. <laughs> All right. New key and new uh, ignition switch. Took about, yeah, it took me about five or ten minutes longer than it normally should. So it'll take, it's maybe a three minute, four minute job if you don't have to record it or say anything. And you want to make sure that you. That your deal is still hooked up. And it is. Alright. I guess that's it for now.